So just a quick zoom tip on how you can rearrange kids in your classroom and how to use spotlight in different ways. So here you go. We have everyone in gallery mode. Sometimes you have people on page number two because there's too many participants. What you could do is you can go to page number two. Let's say we have page number two and we can drag and drop and move kids around. That way, if you have a student or a scholar that is in page two that you cannot really see on your gallery view and you want to kind of gauge what he's doing or he or she is doing, you can go ahead and move them around, which is an awesome feature because there's not a lot of, of wiggle room on how many you could see on one screen. So that's one thing you could do. Another thing you can do is you can obviously spotlight kids when they're talking and you know how to do that. So that's just, you could do it in a few different ways. You can go the long route and go to your participants, go to your different student, go to more, and then you can spotlight them here, spotlight for everyone. So that's what we'll see on everyone's screen. That's kind of the longer route. We can right click on the student and you can spotlight for everyone, right? Or you can click the, ham the three little dots on the side, the drop down menu and spotlight for everyone. So those are three different ways you could spotlight. Another thing you can do with spotlight, which is really cool, and it works great for like small group presentations or you know if you had a group project you can do up to nine people it's a fairly new feature which you could do is spotlight more than one person so you're going to go to here you're going to click the three dots on the side and spotlight for everyone so now you could see that student one is spotlighted and we're up top over here but we also have student two that's part of the the discussion or part of the group project we want to spotlight her as well so we're going to go to the three dots and we're going to also add to spotlight we're not going to replace we're going to add so you go and now everyone in your classroom will be able to see student one and student two as they speak about whatever they have in their group project so there's a quick tip maybe you can use this this is really awesome for group projects again like i said spotlighting multiple people as they talk about whatever project they worked on together you can do up to nine people and it's just a really cool tip so if you guys have any questions about it feel free to reach out text me Email me, whatever you need to do, however you need to get in contact with me, I'm here to help. All right, bye guys. Hope this was helpful.